Hello, this is the hauler I captured, and this is what I'm going to use to eat it. So, this is similar to the ship that I showed you very, very briefly yesterday, except about a thousand times better. And the reason it's better, I'm going to show you. So, the reason that this ship is so much better than the old ship, first off, it has twice as many grinders. It's got a 3x3 three three array of grinders, which is actually a little bit difficult to set up. Um, but that's okay, I did it. And then the next thing it's got is when I tried to unload the ship last time, I ran into the severe problem that it takes roughly four hours to unload 270,000, um, uh, whatever the volume measurement is. Uh, so uh, in this one I decided I didn't like that idea. And so as you can see, I added in just a few extra dumping mechanisms, which allows me to rapidly dump anything I, I can uh, uh, mine. And that's really important to mine, grind. And that's really important for this ship in particular because this ship contains more than 500,000 units of volume and I can only hold 270 at a time. So it's going to be a few loads of, uh, of back and forth as I finish eating this thing up. I could use a much larger ship, um, but I actually don't have any larger ships that are any more effective than this. Uh, right now I'm concentrating on a large ship construction. Uh, device rather than a large ship destruction device. But as you can see, this makes pretty good work, uh, and it's teeny tiny, it's uh, minuscule, and you may notice that it has uh, a landing gear right above the cockpit, and all of these uh, ejectors are actually also right above the cockpit. I found that that's the best way to set it up, because that means that when you're trying to adjust to dump something at the perfect angle, it's not very difficult. You don't start to get confused as to what is up and what is down because uh, you're always pointed in the exact right direction. And to show you that, I'm going to go back to port and dump this load now. We're not completely full yet, but um, I did throw in all of the contents of the cargo bays before I started drilling, and that did get us uh, about 100,000, I think. So we have enough to consider just dropping it in our stash. Um, which is on the same asteroid. I'm not used to having parked it so close. Here we are. Go over the hotel without running into it. This thing doesn't have very many engines because it doesn't need any. Here we are. So this is where you dump it. And if you just arrange yourself like this and, oh, and come at it, You can see that this is a lot easier to figure out where you are than if you uh, um, than if you were trying to have it come out of the side or out of the bottom. So in this way, you can really easily line yourself up, go to a side view just for the last couple of seconds here, and there you go. You have it completely aligned, and you can adjust it if you want to so that it's absolutely perfect in any way you please. There we go. And, uh, and then we can turn it on. Oh, I just got out. That was stupid. Let's try that again. So, just dump everything. And you can see that this dumps a whole lot faster than just one at a time. So, I am really, really enjoying this new patch. It adds a lot of very neat functionality. Um, and I'm thinking that the next time I... They're working on dedicated servers, and the next time I start up another server, I think what I'll do is I'm going to start it up at three times or maybe even only one times inventory because that will make this kind of thing much more interesting and important. But uh, that will have to wait. Uh, right now I'm perfectly happy with the settings as they are and if I were to reduce the inventory space I think something nasty might happen. Uh, so we won't do that. Anyway, that's it.